Welcome to Resale News, a quick snippet of last week's Resale News. I'm Blake, I'll tell you what's going on, and it probably has a lot to do with you. First thing, Etsy sellers are finally getting paid. If you sell on Etsy, probably over the past week, weekend, the past few days, you've been holding your breath, hoping, praying they're gonna give you your hard-earned money. What am I talking about? I'm talking about SVP, Silicon Valley Bank failing, and a lot of Etsy sellers not getting their payouts due to this. Now, Etsy put out a statement saying today, March 13th, Monday, they would begin resuming payouts, but I could not find a date when they guaranteed everyone who was owed money would be paid. Just further highlighting the importance of diversifying your revenue streams if you sell online. Secondly, Adidas is concerned about the price of Kanye West shoes, the Yeezys, specifically the Yeezy 750 OG light brown, the Yeezy Slide Azure, and the 950 Moon Rock, which are all going for significantly higher amounts in the secondary market. Why are they mad about this? Because Kanye West said some stuff people don't like. I think he went on Alex Jones's show Infowars and said he liked Hitler. It really bothered a lot of people. Well, Adidas dropped him, but the shoes still remain very popular. And they were asked about this and they said, well, we're not gonna dispose of the shoes because of environmental concerns. But we're not gonna sell them either. They've had hundreds of requests apparently to buy out the old stock because they don't think that aligns with their company's values. What's gonna happen? In my opinion, they're gonna wait a few years and they're gonna bring back some clone, a mimic of these, and uh, that's gonna be that. For the meantime though, I do not see the Kanye West shoes, the Yeezys, going down. Carhartt announced a buyback program for their branded clothing. Specifically, they're gonna be buying back outerwear, shirt jacks, bibs, overalls, hoodies and sweatshirts and pants with a retail price over 50 bucks. If accepted, they're gonna pay you in gift cards. It's being run by Trove. They also run a few other brands buyback programs, specifically Levi's, Patagonia, some others called ReCommerce. We hear that buzzword being tossed around at eBay. Am I worried about this? No, not at all. There is no way that Carhartt is gonna sell used clothing for less than the average reseller does. There's just too many fingers in the pie, too many people, too many chefs in the kitchen when it comes to Carhartt, their employees, Trove, this third-party company. And not to mention, payouts are being issued in gift cards. So I would assume that the new market rate for used Carhartt items is gonna be however much a Carhartt gift card sells for, because most people prefer and finally, Girl Scouts of America, just Girl Scouts, they're mad that people are buying and reselling the Raspberry Rally cookies. A New York Times article said, third party sellers have deprived, in quotes, troops of valuable experience and proceeds that fund critical programming, the organization said. The only thing they should be saying is how grateful they are that they can now teach these girls about market economics, price setting, logistics, and the failures of underestimating demand. There is nothing worse than an entitled, greedy corporation saying you can't resell the products that you bought from them with your hard earned money. As far as I'm concerned, once those cookies go into someone else's hands, they can do whatever they want with it. Girl Scouts be damned. And that's a quick snippet of last week's resale news. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys later.